is going on with the new version of the MP3 recorder? What is happening? I don't know. I understand. Because uh, my show does come on at the regular time of night, and they're going to have Keith Oberman and... But it's Quentin okay, Harris, we're, not we're not doing spares. We're not doing spares. We're not doing spares. We're sure you're talking about, so... Fillmore. Can you say that one more time? Fillmore. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. I'm, I'm, yeah. Ow, okay, go. Jesus. Uh, recording? Yeah, recording. I okay, think. cool. Welcome back to the Blue Tricky Podcast. We're back with chapter 650, uh, Theater Suicide, Scene 4. I'm Zill. Sal. 45. Um, something or other. <laughs> we're real. We're really sucking at the production. Thing. And son <laughs> is shit faced drunk. Don't believe she says about just not. being tipsy. Irish people always lie about how drunk they are. This is a no, fact. we don't. Yes, I don't know do. about Irish American people, but Irish people don't. We like no being Irish drunk. people. No, you're always like, I had a shot when reality is fifty. I'm not in so true, in true. I'm not in you were so slurring your I words when you got into this call. So? I didn't say I was shift. I'm not shift fist. <laughs> anyway. Stop shit stirring, crappy internet person. Which one was oh. that? I can't remember. No, you're a crappy computer person. The other one. Yeah, you. You. <laughs> what? You. Yeah, my, what? My computer was being stupid earlier. It's fine now. Okay. Anyway, so, uh, let's, let's, let's have it in this, because, uh, just like last week, this has been a very, uh, <clears throat> interesting chapter. So, uh, we start off with, uh, Leo becoming something. <laughs> oh, jeez. He's become a tentacle oh, aisle God. monster rip porn thing. Yeah, he's become a lot of things, actually. I believe which is disturbing. He's a tentacle rip monster oil thing. Keep it simple, Sil. Keep it simple. Uh, I was, I, I, I have a question of what he is, but uh, I'd like to see, hear what you guys think of what he looks like now, because this is a bit of a change I from. I already said what he looks like. like. It looks like a tentacle Not you. oil Everyone else. monster. Okay. You said what you, you said you thought three times. Everyone else. What okay. do you think? Why is he white? Why is he white? Oh. I, I think it so might nice. be like fur now. I I I I know probably feathers or fur or something. Furry feather know, porn. Know. Sorry. See, she is drunk. She's talking about porn again. I am not. Again? Yes. When did I last talk about porn? The last time you were drunk when Ugatake was dying. You're like, yeah, space <laughs> porn. Fine. Space porn. Did I say space porn? I can't remember. Yes, you did. Okay, you know what I mean? right, okay, like, oh, okay. just because I went out and drank a bit and seen a lot of cocks, give me a break, okay? I'm allowed out to see a lot of cocks if I want to see a lot of cocks. Anyway. I'm... What, sorry. 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 what, what, what about me? Ig ig ignore her and move on. It's okay, I wasn't going to tell them your secret, secret shift, but okay, fine, yeah, i seen shift's cock. I have a, have a secret? I, I don't have any secrets. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, God. This, I, this I don't have any secrets. Everyone, everyone already knows I'm Jewish. And you're not uh, circumcised. You're, you're, you're not a real Jew. Wow. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Shift, just fucking ignore her. Say what you were going to say. I was going to say something. Um, uh, 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 I have a lot of opinions, but, uh, but we definitely got to get to the right point in the chapter before I formulate my opinions. Okay. He doesn't have many opinions on the tentacle porn rib thing. He likes it. Anyone else? That that was pleasant, Tom. Sorry. Really was. It's gross. Sorry, but that's what he looks like. Anyone else? Anyone else? Shift's feeling oh. awkward. Still, that's oh, okay. still. Let's not shift. That's still. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I was going to say that at first I, I had no idea why the fuck you turned into this, but. After and Seal's rhyme is fucking up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I did nothing. Nothing. You're roboting. Roboting. Sorry. 
I don't even loading anything, all right? My laptop sucks. Am I, am I fine now? Okay, anyone else want to talk just to make sure it's not just him? Okay. So, what I was going to say is, after reading through some comments about this chapter, uh, apparently, Wheel is apparently representing uh, an older version of an angel here, back in like the old, old version of the Bible, where the angels weren't, you know, humans with wings, they were like fucking different beasts all sh shoved together. Old version of the Bible, so... <laughs> yeah. The Torah, yeah, then, yeah. like, I don't know how yeah. old are we talking about here? Are we talking um, about before the existence of the Bible or when we're, the Bible? We're ta we're talking about of the before old angel, an angels were turned in, into, se into sexy humans with, with wings, which is, uh. Angels you know. are sexy humans with wings? What? Wait, what? In most popular culture, they are just humans with wings, but apparently, way back when they were, they were supposed to be, like, you know, animals, a bunch of animals shoved together, which is why uh, 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 Leo now, now has, like, the face. Eight. Like yeah. the human centipede? Wow. Shut up, son. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's why Leo has the face of an owl, you know, the a, a neck like a snake, and uh, was like a centaur, and uh, penis so, like a donkey. And, and, and so I, a chimera. yeah, yeah, a chimera, and I think that's a cool uh, way of showing that he's supposed to be like an older, more powerful uh, Quincy than the rest, because the rest have just like regular wings, most of them, but. You know, now Leo's like, oh man, like he has the most unique looking Volstandig of all of them because it changed his entire appearance. Is this, is this even a Volstandig anymore? Uh, I'd say so. <laughs> I mean, I've seen people saying like, oh man, he must be in a wrong car with a Segunda top. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Where do you, where <laughs> are you seeing shit. this? Are you going on to Bleach Asylum well, again? Quite no, I'm going, the going on my own blog. I'm going on my own blog shift. He's the Soul King's foot. That's that's disturbing. Yeah, I know. I. I uh, he, he's a Quincy with a fucking weird ass look look to him. So I, uh, I think I think these people are also you know still hell bent on the fact that since we apparently said even though he didn't about Lil being in a wrong car. Yeah. Also, also Leo's eye eyes uh, the wrong way. Okay. His eye, his eye looks to just rotate ninety degrees. Another nothing to see here. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, moving on, I guess. Sal, so, what do you think of the furry porn? Son, what the fuck? I don't know. Okay, the feather porn then. Is that better? I think no! that's the name. No, it's not. Well, I think Shut we up. found the name of the uh, podcast. Yeah. Porn, porn, porn. The internet's for porn. Oh, I mean, it's it can double click for porn, porn, porn. Woo! Hey, it's brought a new meaning to the word fap, or is a flap? What? I don't know. Um, yeah, okay, what yes. What's going on anymore? What are we even doing? Fap. I don't what know. What are we doing with our lives? Son, claims she's not fap. drunk, but she makes, she makes even, even less sense with them she's sober right now. Less so. sense? Excuse me? You said I don't make sense when I'm sober? Uh, yeah, it's all, all the time. Listen right. here, American. <laughs> Sound use is an insult. Oh, oh shots fired. <laughs> The oh, shots dear. Were fired. It's, oh man, hold on, I, I, hold on, drive off. I don't. I learned about the I learned about the blood the blood to body weight ratio when I was in school. Why didn't you learn? Okay. Irish can you drink. Go past whatever the fuck it looks like. Who the fuck cares? Next. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, that now he was all like, I'm sinners because, and I'm I'm actually shocked that it took him fortunes to like about sinners after he's like, oh man, I'm close to God because, as we all know, I, that it, it's. They're very, uh, they're very, uh, short succession, usually, when, when it comes to that in manga. So then he fires, uh, his, you know, divine punishment or whatever, blows up the city, and... <laughs> what? So, sounds, what like sounds like something in an X-rated movie. He fired his divine punishment. He fires right in a shot, so he's going to be Did he swallow to show you spit? how you don't watch... It just goes to show how you don't watch X-rated movies because they would never call it that. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, well, Jesus, well, well, son. Uh, well, what the fuck? Well, son, is, well, well, son is snorting cocaine. Um, uh, what do you think? Call it? machine? So, 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 so that's why he's, despite having a hole in his stomach and then, you know, missing shoulder, missing side, he's like, I'm out, and uh, he managed to move away. And, uh, that, then, then, Kaiden Kyokotsu is all like, we, we can't win, even your bonka didn't work. And, oh, I like to note here that apparently Kubo changed the name of his bonkai again to Karematsu Shinju instead of Karamatsu Shinju. I don't... I mean, Wait, you need to... uh, I, th I think... No, I think that might have just been a stream hiccup. No, no, I... I... I, I Ra. It, 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 she changed the, the second hiragana to Rei instead of Ra. You had and, the Ra uh, already? So... Yes, then we had yes, a yes the 650 Ra was up really early. So we have a basis for determining so that Kubo is... This? basically been having a stroke for the past couple of trap chapters. He doesn't even know what the fuck he's writing anymore. Yeah, I don't know I don't know why he was changing like, 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 it's like, oh man, this sounds better. I mean, he didn't change the kanji so I don't really care that much, but it's more stuff to change the look. I'm like, why the it's just sign on a name. I'm I'm saying we should keep it at the at the second thing. I, uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm all for keeping it at Kara. I, I, I just it's something like, that is consistent and then trivia the other two because yeah, just, just, I don't just call, let's just, we're not changing just, like, let's just other. call it like the, uh, the go-kart uh, go-kart Shinji or whatever and then we'll, we'll see like okay we'll keep it at that sheesh but uh so Kat goes he's like okay we can't win so close your eyes and I'll get you out of here but now, this, uh but wait, this is what, what kind of got me on that particular thing. I'm like, well, wait a minute. What the hell is she talking about? Like, <laughs> you know, we can't win. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to take us out here. I'm like, wait a minute. What, what is she going to do? Like, I, I don't understand how. What... Um, in the in the stream translation, apparently she says something like, I'll take over your body and uh, and get you out of here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, she's like that one name. Um... Are or, or Zanpakuto spirits capable of more than what we think? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I mean, Hollow we should go did, but he's also in a Hollow, so I don't know. But mm -hmm. uh, may maybe, just, I mean, who knows? I mean, I'm not sure why. Like, oh, if I take over your body, your damaged body, I'll be able to get you out of here, but you can't. So, I don't well, know, but... what you have to remember is Zanpakuto spirit is essentially part of their soul. It's basically their power manifest so basically she I mean if she were to do that she may very well be far more capable of certain things that he is in I mean if anything that ha happened with Go was any indication that Zanpakuto spirits and then I guess his so in his case a Quincy power or whatever but Zanpakuto spirits are capable was capable of certain skills and abilities that Ichigo himself didn't know how to do sure enough um Maybe, but like, anyway. So Shunsui is is about to do just that, but in a scene that I found was really good, and now wakes him the fuck up, and uh, and I mean before we get into the more conversation, I I I just like her, you know, keeping him awake and and be like, oh man, I thought I thought I might caught you up, and then he just coughs up flies. Like don't just don't talk. Um, but then we get into the uh, the interesting part of the chapter. She, she says. And, uh, she says, and I'm gonna use a stream here because it's more accurate. Uh, please take out my Zompok toe. And, uh, she mentions that he made a promise to their mother, apparently against doing just this. But, um, they are interrupted by Leal, who shows up and, you know, he's all like, oh, you don't, you don't appreciate life because you're still here. So, Shansui, um, in his infinite glory, hides both of them in Leal's shadow in some sort of pocket dimension and uh so it, so he mentions you know now knowing about her mother and he's like okay well i'll give you back your zanpak toe kyokotsu Ooh, boy now what I have to say. a lot of things i think early uh, the this, chapter something. after the chapter came out i may have overreacted a bit. You threatened to delete the Zombok toe page. Okay, so I more than overreacted. The point is, 
<laughs> After, I'm over at just a little bit, just a little. Perhaps a tad bit. Yeah, because Nunn says over acting like the deleting the whole page. Show me or delete the wiki. Oh I may have overreacted, but after a little bit more time to calm down and some thinking and um, some actual research looking into it, I think in my mind a couple of reasonable explanations actually be developed. Yay. And I will say that Zill kind of moved me towards that based on the fact that, you know, he was saying that there's certain things, you know, some things we don't know about, you know, Zanpak Cho that this could actually work or actually happen or whatever. And then the more I thought about it, I said, well, yes, there's, this situation could happen and not refute anything else. And yeah. the reason why I thought about that is, is basically, first of all, there is, you know, she... I'll put it to you like this. He has Kate and Kyokatsu and you know, he's had his time and for I, I went, went and looked at the wiki and stuff like that and I was looking at this and I was looking at that and then it kind of hit me from a bunch of different angles about uh, the storyline going on. First of all, there has to be something to explain even if she's some type of Prodigy and Cape. I mean, the main reason why she got the position of lieutenant, uh, Nana was got uh, Nana. Actually, now it's Nana O. Nana O. Nana O. <laughs> the main reason why she has the lieutenant thing, obviously, is because she has exceptional keto skill. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, um, she doesn't have much combat and capability, say on the level of, like Rangi or anybody, and. <laughs> It's kind of interesting because I'm sitting here thinking, well, wait a minute. Over a hundred years ago, as a little kid, she was a member of the 8th Division. How the hell is that even possible? Mm hmm And, I mean, like, she's a she's a kid, like, on the level that, you know, uh, Shuhei and them were, were... Shuhei was a kid at that time. So, and, you know, how the hell did she even get into the 8th Division? She would have to get... I mean, there's something there that we don't know about her past that allowed her to be in there. You know, whether it was by Shun Sui's leave or whatever have you. And then I started to think, you know, I said, well, wait a minute. She's not that particularly powerful for her to be having, you know, you know, uh, uh, particularly overly powerful uh, Zanpak Cho. And then I'm reminded of the, the when they were running from Yamamoto and then Yamamoto showed up and he just stared at her, her in front place and shit. Yep. And then I'm like remembering this stuff and I'm like, well, wait a minute. Something is inherently wrong here. So when she says, use my, you know, Zanpak Toe, it's like leading me to believe that he very well may have his her Zanpak Toe on him, but it's not necessarily the ones that he was using. And then you might say, oh, wait a minute. Well, it has the name Kyokatsu. That's probably explainable as well. And the only explanation is that the only explanation that I can come up with right now is is that there might be some type of connection between and t between him and her, or or him and her mother, that allowed him to be in this situation. It might explain where the hiori he wears comes from. Um, for all. <laughs> We know she could be his illegitimate child. I don't know. Yeah. But it also would include explaining, uh, further uh, reinforcing my long-held uh, speculative belief about uh, familial Zompak toes. Um, we didn't get as much information as I would have liked to do about Ishin, but there is no question about whether Ingetsu and Zangetsu have a you know are, are related and if we can get it some Shinigami showing that then that would pretty much cement my, uh, cement my theory on That's that right. but, but it, you know there's there's things that came up that said well, wait a minute I mean for all we know you know he could have you know superimposed I mean the, 
the thing is, the issue that I had, had initially was there's nothing that says. Matter of fact, I believe long ago, I don't know where it is because it's not on the page anymore, and I don't know it, you know what what happened to it. But I do remember believe, reading something that basically said that you know, yeah, Zanpakuto's as we know, their Zanpakuto is unique to the individual. So while you can somebody else can pick it up and use it as a sword or whatever use its abilities it's just not not theirs you know that's, that's like you know using your hand <laughs> you know like yeah. like let me borrow your eyes like you know it just doesn't work that way so there must be something here this is why you know we're I, you know holding off on anything because there needs to be more explained this is my kind of issue one of my issues my many issues with this arc is that instead of like you know oh this is mysterious oh surprise this happens stuff like that usually what you see when you're reading a story a lot of the stuff that Kubo is writing nowadays seems to be very confusing and causing more questions to erupt than Dagon actually presenting answers to the stuff that he needs to present in the final arc because that's pretty much what is supposed to be happening he's supposed to be presenting all these answers explaining why this but I don't know why there's all this confusion that makes the answer even harder to comprehend. So that's why I say that. Well, uh, the end of the chapter um, gives me uh, two things to talk about. One, uh, the fact that Kyokotsu is the little girl, which uh, I'm, I'm glad to see her in the manga too, but also I find interesting that uh, it's pointed out many, many times in the Zalbok Toe arc, and now actually befriended um, the little girl. When she was walking around the Soul Society, and that, and it's like basically her only friend, pretty much. Which, I mean, like I know it's it's filler, but that does seem like a bit of foreshadowing. If Kubo, okay, put that in or whatever. But um, also, like I Kubo mentioned, Kubo may have had a little more say in the events of this arc than we actually thought. Yeah, but maybe uh, well, yeah, yeah, a few, a few, th a few things. He had saying maybe a few more things than we thought. Yes, but other than My that, entire problem is Zanpak Toe Spirits are supposed to basically be a reflection of their welder, which is kind of odd for me because I can see how the the old the, the woman is somewhat a reflection kind of the personality of Shun Sui, but the, 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 the younger one, we have a whole daggone detail on her personality, well, just using the filler as, you know, um, a detail on her personality, and it does not match up to Nanao's at all. So, you know, she's a pretty much motionless killer. Yeah. Which which might, you know, you, you could say like, oh man, it's because he's been hanging around Shunsui and Shunsui's got that dark side of him, but I, I'm not going to get into that. What I want to talk about is um, what I mentioned in the last podcast, which was the buildup of this mysterious woman that Shunsui's been mentioning. Um, with his with his bonkai, he's been monologuing a lot about you know, uh, he's been like waxing poetic about each of the levels, and the last level he mentioned, um, you know, oh this is woman that you know loved a man he couldn't and she couldn't uh, forget about it, and the man realized and stuff like that, and he's talking to uh, to kind of Kyokotsu about that, and you know I got me wondering like who he's talking about is it the owner of of, the, of of his Hayori and you know now that we know that Nanao has a mother. And, and you know, you know, you think, oh man, this should be obvious, but you know, a lot of souls in Soul Society are just are are you know coming after after dying instead of being born there, and you know, this has been probably um, I guess I have like, like a huge connection between the two, and it wouldn't surprise me if um, if uh, Nanao's mother looked a bit like um, the older woman that we saw uh, last chapter, like just a bit. Just as a basis for what she looks like, because it's gonna seem like uh, whatever happened to her uh, it holds like a lot of guilt over somehow. And it, and so you know, you're oh. you're making, you're you're making the point or you're making the theory that a Zomprok Toe spirit can literally take the form based on the inner, you know, uh, personality or struggles or whatever have you. Of its welder, similar to say, uh, trying to use an example, uh, 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 a Patronus in Harry Potter. 
Something like that. Yeah, I, I'd say. You know how um, Snape, Snape's uh, Patronus was a doe because he loved Harry's mother and that was her Patronus? Yeah, I, I something or, like that. How and Tom, Harry's pretty much his father. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, like Tonks is, she had a werewolf. Yeah. Like, yeah. like um, to, to use a, a that sort is very of... Possible. That's a very plausible... Yeah. Uh, to use a sort of canon example, so um, to go to go, let's go to Hisagi for a minute. So we know that you know Kazushini had his own whole thing in the anime, and you know, and it, it, and, it, and it, his anime personality matched what uh, Hisagi described about in the manga. And um, you know, His, Hisagi, you know, usually he's kind of laid back, but in combat he's he's you know super serious, super dark, and um, you know, even though it doesn't match his usual personality, which is you know, I don't know if that's and, and that does that stems from like what Tosin taught him about uh, about combat, and you know, I, I feel like that's why uh, Kazushini reflects that in his personality, even though he's not really like Hisagi in um, in his usual demeanor until he gets changed in the in the anime. But like so I said, that's not really an arguing point. Hisagi is basically at kind of at war with his darker nature. Yeah, so because and I, he's trying to refute that, his Zanpak Till just takes on that because it's being pushed back so much and something. So something has to take the form of that. Yeah, and his Zanpak Till spirit can change, even if a little bit, in appearance and, you know, a personality go over time a person develops instead of just, you know, staying static. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to rant about. Now, the so. thing is, like, they had actually... If you if you read I think streams version, um, they have I'll give it back to you in quotations. Uh yeah, actually let me look, let me look, look, up, look up the raw for the chapter right quick. Um, which chapter are we, are we talking about? The current or something else? The current one when when he's like I'll give I'll give your Zompak Till back to you. Uh, let me see let me let me see if that one if if in the raw um. It is I, mean, I, I just thought that was kind of odd that, you know, I mean... Um, I don't think anything was in quotation for the name. It wasn't a name, it was just... just... No, except except for the name of the Zanbok Toe, I think, was the only thing in quotations. Oh. I don't know, maybe it was meant to emphasize, you know, I don't know. I'm sorry, wait, 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 wait. which line are you talking about here? The, line, the part I just like, uh, I'll okay if you want, like you know, after he's like, okay, you know about your mother, then I'll give your Zanpak Toe back to you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only part in that scene in quotation in any kind of whatever Japan uses for quotation marks, those brackets, um, was the name of the Zanpak Toe. Okay, I'm I'm reading the raw right now. I know why they put in quotations? So um, so in the raw next to to the each of I'll give it back to you. There are these dots. Now in uh in 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 manga when you're writing uh, this when there's dots next to speech like that it's it's meant to show that the character is emphasizing what they're saying. Like uh, remember back when Basby showed up in the palace and he was confronting uh, Hashwall and Hashwall's like you know uh, why'd you do that and ha Basby was like you know you should be asking why am I still alive and that was in uh. That that was had those dots next to it to show that he's emphasizing, you know, you know, this is what you should be saying. And I guess Stream was trying to translate that emphasis to uh, to our context. There's not really a way to do that in uh, American writing, except from like bolding or uh, italicizing by, by positions. So that's all. That's the only thing I can give about that. Hmm. So yeah, but uh, so. Aside from myself and Sal and Shift, what do you, what do you, you guys think about this whole thing with uh, Kyoko 2 being the now Zopak Toe? And, I, and I, I can confirm that it is, you know, the same Kyoko 2 as is mentioned in Shikai and not like a Minazuki situation where it's the same name but different kanji between them. I've actually realized something. So there is one thing that we've, that has definitely been disproven that was totally said in the manga. What's that? And that is the um bit about twin Zanpak toes. As of yes. now, assu yeah, assuming this thought, assuming this it. one blade actually belongs to Nanao. I or her thought mother, we were going to go into that context though. 
<laughs> no, assuming this, this now, got... this now means that no sealed state has two swords. Nope. Oh, 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 that. Oh, well. No sealed it... state has two swords. Yeah, I mean. Because Kiyoaku was the only one who even had a sealed state in two blades. Yeah, you, yeah you're Ukitake's right. Ukitake's was always one and then turns into two. Um, and he sucks, turns one. into two giant things. But he turns into two giant sickles, but it is blade. Yeah, and Ichigo Ich is probably just a regular. Uh, Ichigo doesn't Ichigo. have a sealed state anymore. Assuming he did, it would probably just be one thing instead of two. Or who knows? No, wait, no, he still doesn't have one. I don't think he does. So I think that the explanation for this obviously is coming up in the next chapter to explain oh, exactly what is going on here. Hopefully, it is an actual explanation as opposed to. You know, just talking around in fucking circles, not making any damn sense. Well, um, if it if it, if it isn't, I'm gonna get mad. Me, because I will be. It. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, because I believe the insinuation was to address the fact. Oh, the secret. We know what that that uh the the side scroll was like. Uh, the secret behind his two sword style thing or whatever. I'm like, okay, so maybe this is gonna explain something that. And then, you know, there is room to, for a lot of explanation for exactly, you know, how this is possible without it, like, refuting anything that we already know. So that's a positive. I just had to be awakened to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of I'm going to delete the Zonfocktail page. You were salty. Oh, boy. <laughs> God almighty. Uh, Don't worry, before... kids. We do have proof he said it. Yep. Uh, anyway, 45. anyway, any, anyway, what, um, I, I gotta, think? I gotta say one more thing. We'll continue. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Um, as I said, um, back in, uh, as I said when this chapter came out two days, or, no, yesterday. Damn it. I, I was, I was up when it was like Wednesday night when it came out. So, it, it, it was two days ago or yesterday or some fucking shit. Um, so when this first chapter came out, uh, my first reaction was. Remember a few weeks ago, in the 646 podcast, probably, I had said something along the lines of, guys, crack theory time, imagine if Nanao Zanpakuto is actually the smaller of Shinsui's swords. <laughs> I said this as a crack theory. I was joking. Kubo was listening. I was not being serious. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, continue. <laughs> well, you, well, you did say that you live in his basement, so maybe he was listening. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. All right, but but forty-five. Uh, what do you think about this? Because I remember, I think you were messaging me about that uh, the same night. Um, uh, I can hear what you think. Well, pretty much, I think the same. Like how Sal was saying, um, maybe if they're connected, I was thinking she could be his daughter. Uh, that might explain why she's in the 8th division. Obviously, as her father, he made some leeway and, like, with between... He made some mistakes when he was young. <laughs> Either her father or just some random dude who was fucking her mom. Well, the reason why I was thinking he was... The reason I was thinking he could be her father... I know a lot of people were questioning, should Zanpakuto be changed from Katen Kyoko to, to Katen? And I was saying is maybe that no, it shouldn't be. Maybe his is still Katen Kyokotsu. But her being his daughter, they both their simulation is they both have to work Kyokotsu. And just like Ingetsu and Zangetsu carry on Getsu, the in part, maybe that's hers. If she's his daughter, it would explain why it looks like his. It would function like his. They have similar powers like how Ichigo and Ishin both have uh, Getsu God Tensho and stuff. They Come next week, I think we're going to begin a huge flashback. Right. So I, just... I think I think we'll have a few answers. I'd say I'd say we'll probably have as many answers as we could possibly want by like six fifty three. So uh, so um, like by the end by the end of November we'll have every answer that we could possibly need having to do with Kiyoraku and uh and Anal. Yeah, although I will say that we'll probably get something massive in 652 because that'll be the end of uh, volume 71. And as we all know, the volume is all end with something huge. Like for uh, for the, for last one, it was it was Nemu uh, kicking ass, and 
previous one, it was uh, hash wealth being a uh, box second half and so, and so on and so forth. So, you know, just just expect uh, some some shit to go down in two yep. weeks. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, next week we get bleach early on Thursday because One Piece on, is on a break again. So, right. be prepared. We the other, just just earlier on go. Thursday. Yeah, you say be we prepared, but both really when every time that happens, week. when every time we that happens, both like a couple say, hours early this week. Be prepared yeah. is they always basically end up doing something where they're just going to be like, oh, yeah, One Piece isn't on. Yeah, Bleach is going to come out early. Okay, let's uh, put out like 50 no-name Dago mangas. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, come on. Well, and, uh, put like, oh man. Put bleach out at two o'clock. Manga, manga pen <laughs> has a bunch of different mangas, and it's not ex it's not the same people translating everything. Oh god. They're they're most uh, most of what manga panda is doing is uploading. They they don't have like I don't think they specifically have translation teams for everything, and I and they're probably using some other people's translations too. Oh, of course. I remember seeing a second. For, for I mean, for all the smaller format. stuff. Like for I all the smaller seen, stuff. I, I see, I've ever seen Attack on Titans uh, translations from st from Manga Stream on on Manga Panda, just with watermarks. I think they they put their own watermarks on it as well. Like seriously, are, are, are you that fucking lazy? <laughs> Christ. Uh, but but uh, but yeah. So uh, you saying just... finish thing? Okay. What? I think sounds like it's talking to someone else. I said no. I asked if forty-five was done saying the Oh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. My wrap up was pretty much just that. I think they could be related. Uh, it explained why. Maybe that way it wouldn't be too confusing. What I mean is, is it would confirm the fact because not only is the same with Ichigo and Ishin, but I believe on the wiki it says something like Byakuya's grandfather has a similar looking zanpak toe. Like it looks similar to hilt and the guard and everything on it. Yeah. What? What basically pissed me off about that is that they didn't have anything. This is why I want them to do like you know a, a version of like you know a version a spinoff of Bleach or whatever, where they're like a thousand years ago or you know somewhere else where there's no Ichigo, because there's so much that they could explain back then, and I was kind of pissed off because the do the the instances where we have seen Genrei, we have literally had no opportunity, I mean, even in the, the Zanpakuto arc, you know, they could have shown something, if for whatever reason he chose not, they chose not to, and I'm like, all I need is just a little confirmation to see if his Zanpakuto is anything remotely, you know, similar to Simbanzakura, and, you know, <laughs> they well, didn't even see that. Actually, I was kind of like hoping for something like that when uh, Nemu was helping my Ruri. I was hoping she would pop out and it'd be something with the his. Unfortunately for that, it was more firm. She was more artificial than she was Shinigami. Right, because what I was saying is because her his blood was. In that instance, through. she you yeah yeah, and I I would have thought the same thing. In that instance, I was like you know she should at least use her you know Zanpakuto once. If this is going to be the end of her, and that wasn't even a thought. Yeah. Well, you see, know, the other so. thing. Now, have you guys, of course, I'm sorry, I'll wrap this up real quick. Um, have you guys heard some people, even in Zill's blog, going on the crack theory saying that Lisa is Nanao's mother? Yeah, I saw that. Uh, that, that, that I, I, don't, uh, I know it, so much of that. I okay, okay, entertain glasses. That, that, that's I, a stretch. I, I entertain that five minutes. And then I'm like, no, that doesn't work. Let, let me, I mean, let me, she was more like explain... she's more like a big sister than a mother. It just no. Yeah, first of all, because they definitely interacted in the past. Yeah. They they interacted back like in in turn back the pendulum, um, and the 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 way the two characters interacted, there is no way they'd be mother and daughter. No. Yeah, because some tells um, me. Lisa used to read to her like every month, every first of the month or whatever and stuff like that, and they were close that way. They weren't really, oh, this is my daughter and stuff like that. Like Lisa hasn't even had a significant role for that to be important. Yeah. It would have, also, what, what I think, as far as as far as the now as a mother, 
her. I think so far as I think, I think two things. One, she's dead. Of course, or, all the monsters or as, are as dead. dead as you can get in Soul Society. Um, and that she was the owner of that um, kimono. Yeah. Of the 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 pink kimono. I'm pretty sure that's hers. There is there is no uh, way that is not related. Here's some definitive because they proof both, I, both I, things I have been uh, mentioned so close to each other. There is no I way they're not. I would say related. it's more well, likely well, that Shatsui was here's in love with her and she died, mm -hmm. and that was it. Well, here's the thing. Like, I think it was like a chapter ago when Katin Kyokotsu pretty much said, "Oh, you're wearing another woman's ki kimono, basically." Uh, and and then in this uh, and then one chapter later we get mention of Nanao's mother and her zanpak toe. I I doubt that these two events are not related. Oh, of course not. They, 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 they I can't too related. Good much and say they are not. Uh, pretty much. Okay. So uh, so, so yeah. Future. Uh, I think Future said his thing. When? <laughs> it, it, it was just like, God. Son, 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 Lisa. So you, you can't even remember. <laughs> I can't remember half of what we say in this podcast. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Did, you, did you say your thing or? Eh, I didn't really have any other thoughts really that different from the rest of you guys anyway. Uh, okay, so you did. All right. Okay, well, my, my memory's been wiped, but okay. Um,. So yeah, uh, controversial stuff. We don't have enough of diverse opinion on this podcast. We need to get somebody like Bill O'Reilly on here. Man, oh, fuck boy. Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> like, we need somebody to sit there and be like, Obama's a communist. I'm like, yeah, what does that have to do with bleach? Bleach is communism. <laughs> no, no, Sal. So, all we need is someone from the from the Kiss My Comments section on us. They guess constantly bash bleach. Now they read it and they read the entire chapter in one second. How everything sucks and blah 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 blah. That would be a great, a great counter. We need to that find that guy who was threatening. We need the guy who was telling us to kill ourselves with a gun last oh, week. Oh man, I'm not sure. I don't think he'd give me to read, so I'm not sure he'd be a great, uh, <laughs> great, good choice. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Yeah. Uh, okay, so last week, some user I don't remember his, his username. He, he so it, he's it was it was some bullshit spam account. Yeah, so he so he, so he, he made a bunch of comments on forums like "go kill yourself, go fucking kill yourself with gun, fucking uh, suicide, or whatever." And they made a page like that. He got banned by Roncar pretty quick. But and he got mobile banned. Wait, wait, wait! We were getting cyberbullied, and no one told me. I <laughs> <laughs> got depression. That that was. That oh was, yeah, that I think that is cyber big... cyberbullying. Seriously. Well, is, why is cyberbullying such, such a horrible thing? I mean, fucking turn off your computer, holy shit. That is a big Walk away from your screen have, if you're being cyberbullied, holy shit. I am not as young as, as, as most of you, so I have never been cyberbullied before. That is a big deal. I didn't know- I'm, I am honored. I didn't- <laughs> nobody has was, ever- Was he also the same one- I was trying to say real quick. Was he the same one who was telling people to also get cancer and die? Oh yeah, of yeah. course. Okay, Maybe. so not, I, I, do, I don't know why. The, and, and all these people, all these was people kind of act the same to me. He, he oh, was he, he wasn't most, doing it on he here was, either. He I was can't doing... wait. I can't wait to tell my friends. I... <laughs> He's possibly like the most low effort spammer slash troll slash hater I've ever seen. He's literally like go kill yourself with gun with like bad grammar, and then and then he got banned. He even tried. To, he didn't even. He didn't even create a soccer account. I am offended that he didn't create a soccer account to try to come on here. Like he didn't tell and it wasn't just on here that. either. It wasn't just on here either. He was doing it on Central, and I think that's why he got global. And then no, he was. I think, I think he was doing it in just so. I don't think he was doing it on Central. I just think he was doing it in so many places at once. No, no, no. no. He he actually he actually was doing it on Central. Okay, but he was doing it in so many places at once that he just got global pretty quick. It's, uh... It, it's a global it, Yeah, it's kind of obvious. Oh, it's we were part of a global cyberbullying? Oh, some, Something like that. Oh. Yeah. I feel, you so, gotta be... I feel so young and cool now. Careful, shit. <laughs> oh, so finally. Like you're hip with the kids now? <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm cool like the kids now. I'm old, you know... <laughs> I see all these stories about kids in high school and people going on Facebook and saying you should kill yourself and all this stuff and then they do and I'm like, 
Oh, that never happened in my school. <laughs> you see, what I was saying is, is see, back uh, then, if you were kids bullied, are just too impressionable you get to their face, and then you get in trouble. <laughs> or, or, or they like post a note in your locker. That's about it. You know, like... uh, 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 imagine if, imagine if, like, your head imagine if, like, you know. Imagine if someone gets a note from a secret admirer, but it actually, but they open it up and it actually says in like, in like bad internet grammar, "Wall kill yourself, faggot." <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 how it should. That's that's how people should. Uh, I I, should I remember right now. from Di from from Diver Wimpy Kid, uh, the main character on like Valentine's Day decided to give everyone Valentine's and told him what that told him what he really thought about them. And to like, but to make sure that he wasn't a suspect, he gave himself one. And was like, you smell. So, I feel, I feel like that. <laughs> I, I, I wish I could pull that. Oh man. If I ever left a note on somebody's thing like a Valentine thing, I would just write, "Get good." <laughs> get good. Scrub. Get good. Get wrecked. Get we'll kill yourself, faggot. Something like that. <laughs> oh, well, dude, leave, that, leave that. Leave that on the jerk jock. This is viable. Yes. I'd, I'd say. Um, uh, so. Guys, we got something interesting here. On the oh, week, so, someone created a new oh, someone just created no. a new topic. Do you see it? Why does Kubo mutate oh, black I guys? Oh. Why does he mutate what? Boy. Black, why does Kubo mutate black people, fool? Oh, God. Oh, That's God. a new topic. Someone just created. That's that's oh. dumb. Yeah. Like, guys, like, guys, like, remember, remember when Yoroichi uh, was mutated into a cat? <laughs> no, no, he he actually points no! out. I'm ignoring. No, he actually points out at the end. I ignored Yoroichi's cat form. He just straight up say I ignored that. All right, let me let me well, just. Well, first of all, Yoroichi. I'm not. I mean, she may be skin. I'm not entirely sure that she's. You could say that she is of African descent, but. But she forms willingly back and forth from cat form, so that's um, more of the. That, I mean, that's like saying, "Oh, why does Marvel discriminate against Mystique because they make her blue and she's really a white woman?" Like, yeah. you know. Also, <laughs> what? I mean, if, if black is meant to mean it, anyone of of colored skin in this series, then let's see. Harabel's Harabel has a resurrection that looks relatively normal. Uh, Jerome gets like turns into an ape. That's about it. <laughs> uh, and that, that that that's that's a little less than half of the of the color characters in the series, so, and that, yeah, they don't I mean, you have me. literally, ba I mean, uh, Lie and 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 Tosin, which, I mean, look, here's the reality: you can argue up and down about uh, Kubo's improper use of you know people of color and females in this series. There's probably ample room for you to to, to make that argument and have that discussion. At this point, I really just don't fucking care. I just want this shit to be over. But <laughs> like, seriously, what? What is it? Is it even worth caring? Yeah, like Tosin is dead, and quite frankly, as a character, I don't care what color he was. He got fucking what was coming to him, and <laughs> Elie has yet to get what's coming to him. He is totally overpowered. Totally should have been dead like a chapter ago. Like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much over it. I'm more concerned about other things, whether or not you know Kubo is accurately portraying females and people of color. Like, you know, I, I you know, it, it's, it's, it's not a really, it's not a huge concern for me personally. It's not also. worth caring about in Bleach of all things. Yeah, it, like, it's like, it's like, it's like, oh man, One Piece has has unreasonably uh, fortunate females. Like, did you just notice? Who cares? Jesus. He, Hey, did you see? Do you see where he's like? I just want people to know I'm not black or anything. I'm like, why does that you know matter? I mean, he's got to point that out. He's like, but I'm just sensing a trend here. I'm like, mm. obviously, you can only care if you're black. Of course, it's like it's of like course, those that's... it's like those people who have to preface every conversation with I'm not racist or anything, but yeah, when you <laughs> say that, what I'm that say usually is racist. You probably are. They, clearly You're like, those people oh, I'm not racist. racist, but what I'm about to say is going to give you that idea that I am. <laughs> like, see, okay, see, why did he, you say that? It's like, here's the thing, some though. of my best friends are black. Eh, don't say that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no offense, I'm not going to sit there and say anything like, hey, I got some black friends. No, I just got friends is what I got, you know? I'm not going to, I'm just going to tell you. What I mean is, is 
Yeah, you're right, Sal. I'm not, I'm not racist, but but everyone who's not, uh, I don't know. No, I'm sorry. I'm I'm not racist, but Jews suck. There we go. No, what, what I was trying to, what I was trying to say is is I agree with Sal 100. percent Like if you generally say that you generally are, I mean I don't give a shit. I mean if you sense a trend, just say. It. I mean, you know that makes no sense. It's just to sit and go. Well, I'm not black. I'm just sensing a trend. Okay. You know, saying Zorman, uh, Pepe, and all of them—they all look deformed and disgusting. It's like, but mm, they're yeah. not the only characters portrayed like that either in the series or in other series. Like, I'm not sensing. Like, I mean, there's nothing inherently like saying, "Oh, yeah, he's." I mean, there's been plenty of people who were didn't really have an ethnic position. I mean, most manga depicting what is essentially uh, Japanese culture being ran by characters who, you know, speak Japanese, uh, have, have just beliefs and in, 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 in outlooks and so forth, so forth and so on, they look Caucasian. So, you know, what am I supposed to infer from that? Like, you know, I don't think that manga people, I mean, I don't think Japanese in particular are really coherent about these types of issues because it didn't happen in their world, you know. Japan is very, I mean, let's be honest, I mean, mostly I mean, Japan is like, they kind of invented, you know, uh, prejudice and racism on their side of the of the globe. <laughs> I mean, there's not a, a Asian country that doesn't have a historical beef with, with Japan. Or, you know, yeah. uh, oppression. Um, doesn't, and... doesn't fucking every Asian country have, like, a horrible beef yeah. with each other? I mean... Well, yes, but Japan is pretty much the big thing. I mean, China and Japan to this day still hate each other, but they just act very civil and cordial to well, try to maintain. It, it, it's kind of it's kind of China, Japan, Korea. Yeah, yeah. None of them China... re- none of them really like any of the others. I'm yeah. pretty sure. I think China but... holds the grudge a lot worse. I read somewhere yeah. that that Chinese they teach their children like they teach them in school to hate the Japanese. I'm like, okay, now see. That's your problem. I mean, if you want to stop this bullshit, you just teach them to, like... But, yeah, their... but to be honest, to be honest, the Japanese are really no better in that regard and stuff like that. They totally disregard a lot of the things. Like, they have, have you know, since, you know, World War II, they have been very kind of, like, changing the, the content of the historical textbooks. They don't, or, you know, they had, they, there was a big issue about them putting the dead on people who survived, who died, in World War II in the same shrine. They they do this with everybody. They have everybody who's ever died for China in this one same shrine. So when, you know, a president or somebody goes over there for a visit and he goes and prays at that shrine as part of, you know, his tour or whatever, you know, people have issue with it based on the fact that there are people who fought in World War II at that shrine and they think that that's like, you know, and the Chinese have an issue with it and then, you know, so forth. It's always this thing. It's not, you know, uh, they're complacent in their ability to over their role in what happened during that time. They acknowledge that it happened, but at the same time, they they don't think that they have done anything wrong on, let's say, the level of Germany. So Germany acknowledges that and has made efforts to dag- you know, to put that out there and move on and try to like push past it, except when it comes to Dagon catching former Nazis. But other than that, Japan has been like kind of very lax on a lot of the stuff and totally trying to whitewash their their version of the historical text. So that's why a lot of people still have a problem, especially China, with them. Oh, you I can agree, question but... whether or not they are taking any of this seriously because they don't think this is. Like, like for instance, remember when we had that whole argument or they, they made this whole argument about the fact that those, uh, Hill had a, was, was a swastika? The, his bankai in bankai was a swastika, and they were like, "Well, first of all, the swastika was an original; it was something else before right. it was incorporated by the Nazis. It was a symbol of peace turned to something evil. And you know, you can argue about, well, it's it's turned on its side or whatever have you. That's not an issue. The thing is, they don't make that connection of how, you know, it might offend people over here because it did, it didn't touch them. They didn't have those issues." Yeah, mm-hmm. right. But I was just saying is you know it's it's not getting anywhere if you're teaching the kids in school. I mean that's not a good curriculum to be all like teaching them. Hey, start hating these guys. I mean, if you grew well, up, in... I mean, we do it here. 
You know. Oh yeah. Most of the textbooks in this country come out of like Texas, and you know we made a case about fundamentally changing historical, uh, historical sections of the book to make it seem like slavery never happened, and to change the words to, you know, uh, to not to so that people don't read it and become unpatriotic and shit like that. And I'm like, who are you servicing here where you're dangling perpetuating these lies? And then you have people who sit in here and want to argue about how. The Confederate flag is not about, you know, prejudice or racism and stuff like that. It's about Southern pride. Oh, okay, we'll tell that to all the uh, racists that use it as their primary flag and the ones who are actually the ones who basically get flag back into prominence and then until somebody decided, oh, it's about Southern pride. You don't even know your own history to even have an argument. <laughs> like, it, people don't know their dang own history, so they're going to continue to perpetuate these ideas and get them wrong. So, yeah, we do it too. Right. Well, uh, anyway, that that enlightening conversation aside, uh, I, th- I think I think we're about done with the podcast. I, no, I, I, I don't think there's anything really left to say. I would do so. I just want to leave that on the note that um, there's not a, a bus short enough for this Hokage manga box guy. That's all I want to say. Mm-hmm. A box, you said? Okage Manga Box. The, uh... This, this, this one guy who's, like... No, I know who he is. Me and Sal out first. I I know who he is. I was just asking, uh... I was just asking, though. Oh, shit. Someone... Ah, oh, crap. Hold up. Yeah. I know, I know it's got their final thoughts on the chapter, on life. Uh, some, I was just saying some guy's going around putting Kenson's alive again. Oh, oh God, like... I'm taking care of it. All right, okay. dude. What happened now? Some guy's trying to say Kent's is not dead anymore. He's still alive. He goes, I'm updating with the current arc. I guess he's like trying to say we don't read the current manga. Yeah, because remember how he uh, died of fake car girl time? Yeah. He died there. He died to death, like all the other Shinigami. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, why is my edit not showing up? My edit. But it's not because I guys already did... undid it. Because because oh. Cell because Cell did roll roll back, which is faster. Okay, sorry, I didn't know. You're all right, don't worry. Well, yeah, are we part. wrapping up, guys? Or oh, yeah, we we we, ha- we, ha- we have it done. My, okay, so here we want to say bye bye. Bye. Uh, uh, hey, prepare your anuses. Bye bye. Uh, Talking to you. So are we doing like things. answers or? Oh, no, I, 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 no. Yeah. No, I think Sis was ready to pass out, and Sal's got a TV show, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Well. Night, night, y'all. Uh. Burr. Yeah.